Yeah, yeah, pretty cool, right? Pretty dramatic entrance, right? I know. I've missed you guys so, so, so much. And I'm really, really sorry that it has taken me this long to upload a video. And I look totally different than my last video. Like, I literally look like a different person than my last video. Um, I'm just really sorry. And I hope I didn't lose you guys. I hope you guys are all still here with me. Um, I'm just really, really, really sorry. I don't really have excuses other than the fact that, well, I guess these are excuses. I've just been traveling, fun traveling, like vacation traveling and hanging out with friends traveling and visiting my college traveling and just really exciting stuff traveling that I haven't done in a really long time. And the second half of senior year really like sweeps you up and just takes you into so much crazy busyness that I didn't even realize it. Also, I've just been so uninspired lately. I just feel like the beauty community has totally done a 180 than it has six months ago. And it's just totally taking me by surprise. And I just don't know how to fit into it anymore. And I was really struggling with that because like I see Nikki's and Jeffrey's amazing videos and it looks like they're, they're shot with like production crews and they have these amazing backdrops and amazing lighting. And I'm like, I'm just filming in an extra room in my house and I do this all on my own. I have box lights and a ring light and you know, I'll tape a backdrop to my wall if I want it to look fancy or sometimes I'll just set it up behind a desk but like this is all I have. So I felt very like out of the game, out of the loop and very like unmotivated to make a video because I just wasn't up to par anymore and I just didn't know how to and I tried so many times. I filmed I want to say like 10 or 12 videos and I just every time I want to go upload them or edit them I hated them and I wouldn't even get to editing them because I would look at the footage and I would just be so upset with how I looked, um, with how it turned out, how the makeup was. I just was so unhappy with everything that I was making. So I know it's been a month and a half since I uploaded but it's really been like a few months since I've consistently been up on my channel. So I'm really trying my best, you guys, to be consistent with my uploads from here on out. I'm really going to try my best to not let what the beauty community is doing get to me because that's not my channel. This is my channel. The old school feel that I know a lot of you guys like and a lot of you guys appreciate. And if you want that super amazing video, that's great. They have them on their channel, but that isn't mine. And, you know, especially when in college, there's no way I'm going to be able to be up to par with them because I move in in literally like two weeks, which is so crazy to me. But, um, yeah, that's where I've been. That's why I've been absent. I know a lot of you guys really wanted to know, and that's that's it. I also did a poll on my Twitter if you guys wanted, like, a sit-down talk, like, where I've been and everything like that, or if you guys just wanted a, um, a makeup tutorial. And it was, I let me check the results. Last time I checked, it was, like, 51% makeup tutorial, 49% um, update video. So I'm doing both because a lot of you guys also said to do that. It's, yeah, 51% makeup tutorial, 49% update talking video. Um, and pretty much everyone's like, do both of them. So I'm going to do both. So yeah, that's where I've been. And um, I'm happy to be back. I really have missed you guys. And I really hope you're still with me and that you don't hate me and that you stick with me and just know that things are coming and I'm working on projects. And I, I'm just... It was a break that I definitely wanted and needed and now I'm ready to be full swing back of how things used to be and I'm very excited for it. I have a ton of products that I'm talking about in this video. This is a super long video so go make a meal. Honestly go make something and like come back and watch this video because it is super long and um, I'm talking about a ton of new products. I'm showing you this makeup look. This is like my summer go-to look. It's natural, it's glowy, it's gorgeous. It's just a really pretty look and it looks like you, which is something that I've been into with makeup lately. That's another thing. I've been struggling a lot with makeup because um, I feel like right now the whole makeup trends are like, do so much more. And you know, for me, that was me like three months ago. I was like, more makeup the better, you know? But now I've sort of been taking it back a little bit and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to really cake on all this makeup when I'm just going out to lunch with my boyfriend. You know, I just kind of just want to look natural. So this has really been my go-to. I can do this in about 15 minutes now, which for me is really, really good. And I can probably get it down to like 12 minutes if I push it, you know. Um, so that's really good for me. It's really easy, really natural looking, and it stays on all day. No matter if it's hot where you are, cold, wherever, it's going to stay on. So that's really great. 
and something I like in my summer makeup. If I miss anything, I'll have it in the info box down below. And um, I love you guys so much. And if you guys want to figure out how to get this look, then keep on watching. There's so many products I have to talk to you guys about. So many. <sighs> so first thing is the first primer. Lately, I have just been using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water because um, I was at senior week in at the beach and like people came in my house and I had my Nivea men's post shave balm on the thing and someone broke it and knocked it over and broke it and I just haven't bought a new one. So I've been using this and I've been liking it. In all honesty, I like don't know if it actually really does keep my makeup on, but it just feels really good on my skin in the summer because it is really, really hot where I live in like Pennsylvania right now. We're having like a heat wave. So it's been really, really hot. I've been on vacation a lot too. And that's been hot. Like I was in Jamaica, I was at the beach and I was just in Alabama. So they were all very hot climates. So this has just been really nice to cool down my skin. So now that we're primed, let's move on to the base. A lot of times I've actually been skipping out on foundations and like BB creams and tinted moisturizers all together because when I'm tanner, this is all natural by the way, like aren't you guys really proud? I'm so, I've never been this tan in my entire life. Um, when I'm tan like this, or even when I have like spray tans or self tanner on, whatever it is, whenever I'm tan, I normally will skip foundation and just do like concealer or something because I already feel like I have a good base to my skin and like good color and all I really need to do is correct discoloration on my eyes and like that's it. But when I do want to wear BB creams or something, these are the two that I opt towards. The first one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin All-in-One, no, One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. This I love, I'm going to talk about this in a minute. And then the other one that I'll use is the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream. And I will always mix, well not always, but most of the time I mix this with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, I think it is. Opal, I have Opal. So I'll mix these two together. I never really mix these two. I don't really know why. I just really like this on its own. But these two I'll mix a lot. And this I mix if I want like a more glowy complexion. I'm going to use this today because this is a little too light for me. This is the shade medium and this is medium dark. But I'm going to get this in every single shade, no lie. Because let me explain why I really like this. The reason why I really, really like this in particular is because it is super full coverage when you're at a distance. Like if you saw me like 10 feet away, you'd be like, Oh, okay, her foundation's like really good, like her skin's really flawless. But then you get closer up to me and you don't see the makeup at all. You just you see my skin. I can't really explain it. It's the weirdest concept, but it is so incredible. Like I really, really like this product. I'm definitely gonna get it in every single shade. It's just so lightweight on your skin, and like you don't feel it. The best part is it's not oily, so I don't have to set this. This I do have to set, but this I literally, I don't put powder over this and it's fine all day long. So that's really great. So you can totally use this as like a moisturizer if you wanted to. I've done that some days where I'll like wash my skin and then put this on and then I'm out the door and I don't do anything else, which for me is so, so, so weird and I don't do that. But with this I do. So I really, really like this. I think it's like, I don't know how much it is, $38 I'm going to guess, but it's like worth all the money. So I'd recommend to get this for the summertime, even for the winter, wherever you are, it's really good for all year round. And I apply it with my hands because I find that when I use a beauty sponge, this is the Real Techniques beauty sponge. It's really stained. It's not dirty. I literally just cleaned it. It's just stained. I promise. Um, when I use a sponge, I always find that I use a little too much product, but on my hands, I use like the right amount. So I really just kind of slap this on. And then I bring some down on my neck. And it's a little dark for me right now because I'm not as tan as I was when I first bought this. But once I tan again like tomorrow or something, I'll be this color again. It's like so weird. When I get tan, like I tan, you know? But when I'm not tan, I don't tan. And then sometimes I'll need like extra over here. Oh no, I'm peeling a little bit. Or like down on my nose or on my eyelids or something. I'm really peeling a lot. Oh my god. Okay, so then once that's on, it's like pretty sloppy. That's when I go in with the beauty blender to even it out. But like if you guys can tell, it really just looks like my skin. 
but it's like super super full coverage and I just really like it and it doesn't look oily or anything like it just looks like skin so once this is packed on to where I feel like it's good it's not coming off like it just looks good and natural is when I will move on so recently I have actually been using the Maybelline instant age rewind dark circle eraser concealer again and this is because when I was at senior week um, I brought a concealer I don't remember what I brought I think it was Maybelline fit me and I just looked so cakey and um, oh I realized what was making me look cakey it was the Becca aqua luminous foundation that makes me look so cakey I don't use that anymore because it's literally like a cake face times 12 so I don't use that anymore, but I was using that foundation and like my Fit Me concealer and I was like, I just look so cakey. So then my friend had this in dark medium or medium dark and I used that and then my friend Emily had this concealer and I was like, okay, I'm just going to use that and I loved how my skin looked. So I went out and I bought these two products. This together is a dream team. These together are a dream team. Like these are just really good products that don't get cakey but have good coverage. I've toned it down a lot. If you guys can tell, I've kind of like toned down my makeup routine quite a bit since I've been away. Um, so what I do is I hit this under my eyes where my dark circles are and a little bit down my nose like that. And that's really all that I do. I don't really do a huge exaggerated thing anymore because I'm really trying to make it look like I'm not wearing much makeup in the summertime. Even though the shade is lighter, I still do like to bring it down my nose and up onto my forehead just to lighten up the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. <laughs> and then I also put it right here just so it doesn't look like I have like a dark mustache. And then I go back in with my sponge and just tap it out and it looks really natural. And that's really what I'm like liking these days. I know, can you believe it? Okay, so here's the great thing about these two products. I will always set my eye area just because it does crease on me no matter what because I'm moving it all the time and whatever, I'm very expressive. But it looks, it doesn't look dewy. It looks like skin, it looks healthy, it looks natural. If you don't have a creasing problem, you could totally leave just like this and it would look great. Honest, I would do it. It looks good. But to set, um, I've been using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder just because it's super lightweight, it doesn't get cakey, and it's just a good powder. I use it with a Sigma F35, and all I do is I set where I put the concealer. So I put this under my eyes, and if I have a little bit of excess, that's fine. I'll go back and wipe it off in a minute. I dust off my brush on a tissue. I'm lying to you guys right now because I'm literally just wearing like this in the air, but normally I would brush it off with a tissue, and then I just go back in, and anywhere where there's extra powder, I'll just sweep it off. And I'm being really, really light. I'm not like digging into my skin and removing any of the product. I'm just sweeping off. I've been using three products when it comes to color and it really just depends on my mood. But lately, when I want like a more natural look, um, I just go towards Hoola by Benefit. I don't know what has gotten into me, but this has just been my jam lately. And I've been using it with the MAC 135 brush. It's just really, really great. Just dip in a little bit. Sometimes I'll like really pack it on like that, but lately I've just been tapping it on for a more natural look. Just a little tap, 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 And then sometimes if it's just not doing the job, I'll just wipe it on. But the tap method has been working lately. And I really keep this just on the temples and kind of up here towards my hairline. I don't really bring it in the middle right here. Sorry, oh my god, I really need to like shut my phone off. I'll bring it down to my hairline, blend that back a little bit, and then I'll just lightly chisel out my cheek. Everyone's into like the no tour right now, so I guess I'm into the no tour right now. Honestly, I haven't like done a good contour in so long. I don't really remember the last time I did like a good contour. Moving on to blush, I've either been using um, Becca Flower Child because Khalil said that she liked that blush, so I went out and bought that blush because um, I love her. And the other one that I've been using, I finally got it. I like I don't know how it took me almost six years to get this blush, but I got it. 
uh, NARS Orgasm. I'm, I know, I know, I know everyone. I'm the last, I actually have it. I've had it for a while. I just don't use it, okay? I have it in like a trio. It's like a highlighter, the blush, and then NARS Laguna. And I just never used it in there. But I got my own pan and I'm loving it. Um, the best blush brush I have ever found to use has been this one. I don't know how you guys can get it. I'm going to try and link it down below. It's by Arbonne, okay? Arbonne is like comparable to like Mary Kay, okay? Like it, you need to know someone to get it, okay? So this is the Arbonne blush brush. Um, it's really great because it's so like flat, but it's so dense. It's such a good brush. So um, I just dip it on both sides, wipe it off in the air, give it a little tap, and then I just smile, and then when I put it on, I flick it on and I wipe it back, but I don't streak it back like this. I really just do little light taps like this back and forth. If you're anything like me, I've always sucked at putting on blush. Like, I like suck at it, and I can't do it, and I have a little heavy hand right now. But that has been like the only technique that has worked for me, and that I've liked my blush afterwards. Highlighters, world of its own. Honestly, I can make a whole video on the highlighters that I've been using lately and all the highlighters that are coming out. I can't keep up, okay? Every time I go on Instagram, there's a new highlighter coming out. Lately, as of like a few days ago, I've been using Champagne Pop by Jocelyn Hill. I have it in this palette. Once this runs out, I'm gonna get the real thing because it looks bomb. Um, also, Prosecco Pop looks so, so cute. Okay, I literally fell in love with Champagne Pop when Prosecco Pop came out because I saw Champagne Pop next to Prosecco Pop and I didn't know which was which and I was like, oh my god, whatever shade that is, I'm getting it. And she said, it's Champagne Pop. And I was like, that Champagne Pop, like I have that. And it, I just loved it ever since then. So, um, I've been using Champagne Pop a lot lately. Anastasia's, she's coming out with two new glow kits. Like she's just on a roll. But I got the new, now old, um, glow kit, the sun dipped one. It was just at my um, Sephora. I really like this for these two highlighters mixed together. But I use this all the time on my eyes. It is just the prettiest shade for your eyes. Like right on your lid. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm running out of space. It is just gorgeous. I love it for the eyes. I've looked for a color like that for so long. And honestly, the only color that it compares to is Mink Brown by NYX. And they don't even make that anymore. I wore that every day in 7th grade. And since then, I, r I ran out of it like in 7th grade. Since then, I've been looking for a shade just like it. I couldn't ever find it. And this is the only shade that I've ever found to be identical to that. Also, the Laura Geller highlighters are amazing. Um, I think I used this one. Hang on, let me get it. I think I used Gilded Honey in a tutorial, or you know what, I probably filmed it but never uploaded it. This highlighter I really like because it is so intense, like it literally is like, whoa, whoa. Like it, bl this like, it blinds people, like I know everyone says that but like it literally does, okay. Like I'll be out and someone's like, whoa, your highlight, I'm like, I know. But also this one, this is um, Charming Pink, it's intense, it's really, 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 really intense. Okay, like it, I'm gonna swatch the other one too. Like they're, these highlighters are blinding. Every time I post an Instagram when I was like at the beach and stuff, everyone's always like, what highlighters are you wearing? It was this one all the time because it was like that. Everyone was commenting like, your highlight is popping. It was this one. Um, you see the others? That's them. I suck at swatching on my arm, but those are the two highlighters. They're really intense and really, really beautiful. But today I'm going to use Champagne Pop because I really like the combo with Orgasm Blush. I think it looks great. I'm talking so much. I just miss you guys. This is the Anastasia A23 brush. I really like this. And I use a light hand with Champagne Pop because with Champagne Pop, I feel like if I put a lot on, it really shows every little bump that I have on my skin. As opposed to the Laura Geller highlights, it doesn't do that, which is why I really, really like these. These just make my skin look smooth and highlighted, which I love. But I just love this color lately. So I use a pretty light hand with Champagne Pop, and I bring it up underneath my brow and kind of circle it out like that. And that's what I do. And hit a little right here on my lip. right on the tip of my nose just to add a little something something brows are on I know my brows aren't the same shape okay I know I know that this one's flat this one's arched 
I just know. My brows are just looking rough right now. Like, I need to go get them shaped. Demi, I'm coming in. Eyes really do change all the time. Like, last night, I went out to dinner with my gal pals because I was saying bye to them for college. It was the weirdest thing ever, but I said bye. Um, because they're all going on, vac on vacation, and by the time they get back, I'll be gone. So weird. But I literally had to say bye to, like, Emily and stuff. It was the weirdest thing ever. Last night, I used my Seal It in the Light palette, and I used Sunset all over my eyes, and then I blended out with Bliss. It was the prettiest eye look ever. But I haven't really been doing that, so I'm not going to show you that. Um, what I've either been doing is just mascara and um, some shadows in this glow kit. Or I've been doing the look that I'm going to show you because it's a little bit more fun to show. Remember this little guy, what I said? Yeah, we're using it. So I just use a flat shader brush. This is literally me being Juicy Star 07. This is a Lowell Cornell Maxi Max 387 inch. It's an exact dupe for a MAC 239. Who remembers like all of her videos when she would say that? Oh, I love her. Um, so I'm using the shade Tourmaline right here. Um, I used to use this wet. I use it dry. It's just a really, really great shade. I'm using it dry today. So with this, I really just pack this all over my lid. I just love this shape. It's just so natural and like just a gorgeous shimmer. I mean, it is a highlighter, so it is going to have a gorgeous shimmer to it anyway, but it's just so pretty. Then what I've been doing is I go back in with that Bobbi Brown, Bobby Brown Beach Bikini Shimmer or something like that. Bikini Bronze. This, and I take it on the same brush. This one smells really good. I just noticed that. It smells like, um, like fresh, clean sheets. Linen, if you will. Whatever. Um, and then with this, I just pack it on the outer corner. And then I bring it up into the crease, just with this brush. It looks like I forgot how to do makeup in my break. I swear, I've just been lazy and this is honestly what I've been doing. But it, it works out, okay? Just have a little faith. I grab a stiff shader brush and I mix the two shades that I just used. So the Bobbi Brown shade and the Anastasia shade. I mix the two and I run it along my lower lash line. It's light, it's natural, it's cute, it's not a lot, it's pretty. So then once that is on, where's my blending brush? I then take my 224 and I take Hoola by Benefit, just a little dip in, and I just blend this out. It keeps everything natural, it keeps it all light, and it keeps it pretty mono chromatic with my face and it's just a super light pretty look and then I take it down here to blend out this a little bit and that's that it's really easy and I know people are gonna say that I always do this makeup look and like all my looks are the same but like I have serious on Twitter and you wanted to see what I've been doing for summer and this is what I've been doing so I'm gonna show you plus I never use any of these products in a video before uh -huh, so take that. To highlight underneath my brow, um, I've been using the Laura Geller highlight. And I just tap that under the highest point of my brow and bring it back. Tap that. Oh, and then this is that famous highlight. You guys are literally on Instagram all like, your highlight though, your highlight pops. I'm like, thank you, honey. I uh, thank Laura Geller. Um, because I love that highlight front of my brows, I don't like that on my inner corner. So I'll either use Floof by MAC, or um, I've been dipping into this glow kit lately. This is the Gleam one. I love, this is probably my favorite glow kit. And I take Crushed Pearl, and I just throw that right here on this inner corner. Really just brighten that up. I really just grab whatever's near me, either Floof or this one. And normally it's this one because I pretty much always use highlighters. So I just bring highlighters with me everywhere, and I've been traveling a bunch lately. So this is just the makeup that I've been doing. And that's it. It's really natural for the eyes. Let's talk about liner. So my favorite liner lately has been this one. It's the Tartist Clay Paint Liner. I really like this, and actually the brush that it comes with 
is this and it's a really good brush they come together and I really do like these a lot last night I did a wing and I just realized I hated wings I, I'm just over wings right now um, I'm also over top eyeliner right now I don't know what's up with that right now but I feel like wings are so 2014 do you know what I mean like they're just so out so I haven't been wearing wings a lot lately and every time I do wear a wing I just don't like it I wish I didn't do it so I'm not gonna do a wing today what I do like surprisingly though is waterline liner and no top liner. Um, I'll tight line my eyes and then I'll do waterline and that's it for liner. Mascara, I've just been using Roller Lash by Benefit and Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Lips, I like to keep light. Sometimes I'll normally actually just keep a chapstick on my lips all the time, but um, when I want to be a little fancy, I'll put a gloss on, and it's whatever gloss I have near me. So um, it just depends where I am at the time. So right now, this is near me. This is the CoverGirl Queen Collection lip gloss. I've talked about this forever. I really like it. I'm such a gloss girl. With that being said though, I did get Kylie Jenner's um, So Cute Gloss. I don't like it at all. It swatches beautifully, like it really is a great pigmented gloss. It's right there. It really is like a beautifully pigmented shiny gloss. But for some reason, like on my lips, I'll show you. Like you can see every little brush stroke and like for me with gloss I like to be able to slap my gloss on and call it a day but with this I feel like I need a lip liner under it like I feel like I need a liquid lip under it and like I don't want that in a gloss I want it to be like I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see it more I want it to be something that I can just slap on you know it looks super messy I mean the color now that I have it on is to die for Alright, now that I did that, I like that. I'm actually going to keep that on. But it's just, it's like a gloss that takes work. Whatever. But it's, mm, I kind of like it now. Mm, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know back on that. Alright, I'm going to change, take my hair down, and um, I'll be right back. So that was it. I hope you guys all liked this tutorial. Um, This is like, really been my go-to. I'm going to dinner time with my grandpa to talk about tuition costs. <laughs> so, um... I don't know why I told you guys that, I, just because why not, you know? So this is what I'm going to be wearing out. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you did like it. I'm going to be uploading a lot more, I promise you guys that. I am here. I'm not leaving. I'm here, I promise. So be sure to follow me on all my socials if you guys want to. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys all in my next video. I love you all so much. Bye.